Hello from Epcot's parking lot. It is the first day of the Flower and Garden Festival and I took off four hours of work to come here to check it out, to eat some yummy foods, and to get some merchandise. So follow along with me as I experience the first day of the Flower and Garden Festival of 2021. starting to get super hungry, especially while looking at the menu. This is the new Sunshine Griddle, which is like a brunch booth. I am like, I really want to try everything on here. The shrimp and grits and the avocado toast all sound so good. My favorite booth, I think, for this festival is the Honey Bistro. And I really want to try this corn spoon bread up at the top. I think I might try it out first. Also, our favorite thing last year was this pecan cake with the maple whipped cream at the Magnolia Terrace. That was our favorite thing last year, but we only got like one week of this festival because Epcot closed. So I'm really excited to try that again. Here we go! I'm so excited to check everything out. Big Net Spirit Jersey! Pigment ears, or not pigment, I don't know why I said pigment. Orange bird ears. Those are not for me, but they're fun, I suppose. This is super fun. That is so cute. This seems really popular, and I kind of want this shirt. That's on this other shirt, isn't it? Oh, it's on time, yeah. We'll get that if you like it. An orange unisex shirt with the orange bird and Hello Sunshine. I don't know about that, actually. But it is the mobile thing. I know, but I'm saying it. Hello Sunshine hat. This little ceramic jar. Which I don't, it's a really weird fabric. I don't think it's gonna protect my train. And 
These are really weird. Tons of ears. Spirit jersey. I don't know if I'm going to get the spirit jersey. So the bag is right there. Let's see if there's anything else. I think they just have the orange. Oh, here's some passport stuff. Straight out, straight out, just straight down. Oh, there you are, you put the pair down there. Oh, the shirt is so cute. I don't know if I love the sleeves, it's a little too kid ish, but this design is so cute. And then this mug is. Kind of perfection. That is just adorable. There's a little. Oh. A little ceramic flower. You think? I already got most of it. I need to. Ooh, these are so fun. Oh my, oh my gosh, those are adorable. They have Mickey, a flower and garden pass holder. Those are just so cute, I love those so much. Okay, this is a pass holder spirit jersey and I love this Mickey. In the front has Pluto pass holder with Spaceship Earth behind it. That is so cute, but I hate the same. I don't know why Disney does this. I can dig it. I don't know. I just don't like that. Mickey is pretty cute, a little too big on the back. I really like the color of the spirit jersey, but I just can't get past that same. Here's some more stuff. This is like literally an actual watering can for your yard. I don't know one thing about gardening, so I'm not gonna buy healthy any of this, but this shirt is Live Life in Full Bloom. It's really cute, Mickey, but I don't like the back with this big bow. It's just not for me. Here's the two pins I got. They're not my favorite topiary pins I've ever seen, but they're okay. So this one is Donald and Daisy, which actually I like a lot. This one is goofy, kind of hard to see, but I was good and I just got topiary pins this year. I was a very good girl in there. I had a goal, like I, I think in January, I was just gonna be a little bit more smarter with what Disney stuff I bought. Um, I'm only gonna collect the pins that I kind of have a collection. Like in the past, I think I pretty much bought any every pin that I liked, no matter what collection it was. But today I just got the topiary pins, which is just what I collect. Um, I didn't buy anything. I didn't really love anything, but it was some some stuff was cute, but it's not my style. I am coming up to the Sunshine Griddle now. This one is gonna be super popular. Pretty much everything looks good on this menu, I can't decide. Oh my goodness. Avocado toast, shrimp and grits, corned beef brisket hash, fried cinnamon roll bites, fruit and cheap, cheap. Oh, this, everything sounds good here. I cannot decide what I want here. Everything looks good. I think I'm gonna get three things. Shrimp and grits, the fried cinnamon roll bites, and then the Fruit Loop shake. All right, here's what I got. The avocado toast, which is absolutely beautiful. The Fruit Loop shake, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret. And then the cinnamon donuts with cream cheese frosting and bacon on top. Yum. I'm going to try my fruit loop shape.
Mmm. It's pretty good and actually tastes exactly like Fruit Loops. Yummy. That's delicious. This avocado toast is so good. That is delicious. I will definitely be getting this many times. Oh my gosh, I just took a bite of this. This is stuffed with like this cinnamon goo. OMG. Everything at that Sunshine Griddle booth is amazing. 10 out of 10, everything I had was delicious and I would get everything again in a heartbeat and I will get it again. It was so good. Here is kind of, I guess, the, I don't know, maybe the main topier is I consider this year. Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy. It seems like there's really no new topiaries, probably because there's so many people that are still let go from the company. Um, maybe, I think there's still a lot of like the floral team that's not here. Um, but I love this view, Spaceship Earth. And look at the sky! It is so beautiful today. It's like perfect weather too. Breezy and only in the 70s. It feels glorious. Here's Donald and Daisy, which is on my topiary pins. Ah, oh, look, he has a bee on his head. That is very cute. And then there's Huey, Dewey, and Louie right behind them. Adorable. Here's something fun that wasn't in the other store. This is this little bowl. I've got an after flower and garden this one. I love how Spaceship Earth is green. That is so fun, but I don't know what I would use that for. I do love it though. This is a pretty cute shirt. A Figment shirt, homegrown happiness. That's pretty. Harvest your imagination. That is so cute. Is that sad I like this shirt? This may be the one I like the most. And this is a little kid's shirt. It says Cultivate Your Imagination. With a little, like a bento lunchbox. Cute. Here's the Spike the Bee merchandise. This shirt, Stop and Smell the Flowers. It just cropped a little bit, yellow. There's a really cute hat. And then I do like this mug. It's like a like a hunt like a honey jar. It's really cute. And then there's this corksicle. That's nice. Cool as can be. Next up on my food extravaganza today is from my favorite food, the flower and garden. At least it well it has been in the past, the honey bistro. There's something here that sounds so good. The honey, the honey and sweet corn spoon bread. I can't wait to try it. Okay, here is the Tupelo honey corn, the spoon bread, the sweet bread. It has some cream on top and then a piece of bacon. Can't wait to try this. This is new this year. Okay, update on the spoon bread. It was okay. I don't know. It seemed really greasy. I don't know if they're. I don't know if the grease is like from honey that was on it or if it was actual grease but the flavor was good it was topped with this honey butter it was that was really good and the bite with bacon was delicious but it just seemed a little greasy this is what i got the tupelo honey and sweet corn bread with jalapenos bacon and house made whipped honey butter it didn't i didn't even taste any jalapenos i don't know maybe like a five out of ten i'd rank that Okay, here is what I got at the Citrus Blossom booth next. This is the lobster cold salad. It's different from last year. Last year it was just a lobster tail. And then I also got the orange bird slush and it comes with the zipper. The zipper is actually new design this year, which is very surprising. It's super cute. It has this orange, a little orange on the side. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. And then the slush is new this year too. It's an orange lemon slush this year. All right, let's see how this tastes. Mm. 
but it's really hard to drink. It's basically impossible to drink. It's really sweet. I don't think I like it at all. Ugh. That's not for me. <laughs> Yuck. The citrus blossom was a bust for me. I did not like the lobster at all. And I did not like the shake, the orange and lemon shake with the orange bird sipper. It was not good. Oh well. Okay, next I am going into the World Show Place, the Indoor Festival Center. I think there's three booths in here. Oh, look at Mickey Minnie, that's cute. So, you can go check it out. I'm just getting so full though, so I don't think I'm going to be able to eat anything. It takes a while for your eyes to adjust. So pretty, there's roses on the ground. Don't know if I can eat anything in here though, because I am, like I just said, so full. Here's the Farmer's Feast Spring Onion Soup. Yum. That sounds actually really good. I would try that a different day. Duck Confit Off the Beaten Path. Hmm, that's interesting. Profiteroles with Red Beet Mousse Golden Beet Pastry Cream. I love beets, so I would try that. And then they have a watermelon mint beet ale, which might be interesting to try. This is so cool. This is how they do start with their topiaries. They start with the wire display of Mickey. That is so cool. Oh, and these are their 140. These are their floating garden gardens that are in the Future World Lake. They nourish themselves with absorbent fabrics. That's really cool. You need baskets. This is so cool. I would love to see the horticulture team actually doing this stuff. And this is a tree that they're that they made. You can see the tree around the end. That's cool. Here's something special that's outside of the world show place. It's a Mickey and Minnie topiary. This would be perfect to get your picture with. Definitely have a cute outfit here. This is cool. This is a fairy garden. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Tinkerbell is a topiary. She's a lizard on her. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Look at Tinkerbell. Just 
what I got from Morocco. It is the wheat ale. I forget what it even was, like mango, some fruity wheat ale. Hopefully it tastes good. I love any wheat beers, so I'm sure it's good. Here it is, it's the MA Beer Company, the Pink Hibiscus Orange Wheat Ale from Dorel, Florida. This beer is so delicious. I love it. It's so refreshing. The Flower and Garden Festival actually has my favorite beer from any festival. They're all like really fruity wheat beers. Makes sense with the Flower and Garden, but this one is delicious. Yummy. I am now at the Hanami. This is a Japan booth with a famous sushi, which I actually don't care for. But this sounds so good. Look here, the shrimp and crab. I think I want to try that right now. It looks so good. The pork shank I'm also interested in, but maybe not right now. Um, I love anything truffle, so this truffle mashed potatoes sounds amazing. All right, I got my shrimp and crab. This looks pretty delicious. It has three cucumber slices with crab that you find in like on top of like spicy tuna and then some wasabi cream on top and then some like fruity sauce on the side. It looks really good. Another delicious item. This is so good. It's basically just like California roll filling because it's fake crab meat and shrimp I guess on top of a cucumber with a little bit of spicy sauce on top. It's not too spicy but it's so good. Yummy. I've made a decision that America is my last stop in this food endeavor. I cannot have one more bite, but I do want this dessert from America. It is my favorite from last year's festival. I literally dreamed about this because the park closed after like a week and a half of the festival being open and I had this dessert and I craved it so bad. I'm so excited to have it again. Okay, here was my favorite dessert last year. This is the pecan cake with um, maple whipped cream, I think, on top with like a caramel sauce. It is so yummy. I can confirm it's still as good as last year. It is so good. This one was maybe a little crispier than what I remember from last year, but the flavor is so good. Yum. And that is it for my eating. I am so stuffed. Stick a fork in me, but it was a lot of fun. I hit a lot of good things. My favorite was the griddle, the sunshine griddle. Oh my gosh, everything there was amazing. I think I'm gonna dream about the avocado toast until the next time I have it. I'm definitely gonna get that shrimp and crab thing um, in Japan. That was so good, light and refreshing. My most disappointment, I guess, was maybe the citrus booth. I did not like anything there. That lobster was really bad. Um, and then I didn't really like the smoothie. That was not good either. So overall, a lot of good things. This is my favorite food festival. I just think the food is so light and refreshing. The beer is my favorite. So overall, a lot of good things, but I'm just by myself today, so I cannot um, eat as much as I would like because I don't have my husband to help me. But everything was pretty good for the most part. Enjoyed myself today. I'm gonna head out, but if I see anything interesting along the way, I'll take a quick video of it. Elsa is right here. I don't know if you can see her. It's a little crazy right here. There's a lot of people here. A little overwhelming. Um, but she's right there for kids to come up and meet her and talk to her. There she is. Ready? Let me see. This is the only video I'm gonna get. It's crazy there. Here's Chip and Dale Toby. They're so cute. I love them. Adorable. Look what they finally have out at Mouse Gear. The Peter Pan. I wish I 
special mold. So this is Tinkerbell. She is the open edition. And then here is the wisher mold. I'll have to show you on the back next. So you can get Peter Pan, Wendy, Nana, or the pirate ship. This is the Shares Dooney and Bird. This is the tote. That is beautiful. I love that. And then there's like this saddlebag crossbody that's right there. This little wristlet. And then this other little, um, it's a crossbody little tote. This pattern print is so cute. I am beat. This was a rough day. I'm not used to walking around this much in the parks. It was a lot of fun though, and I just bought like 10 bags of wishables. The Peter Pan to try to get one set for me and my friend because they're so cute. I love wishables so much. Just I'm sitting down, I need to rest before I walk out to the parking lot. But it's been a really good and fun day. I'm happy I took off four hours of work to come here for the first day.